all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol xpev xpen inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so xpev stock has actually continued to slightly go in this downward direction i mean it leveled off here it was pretty steep at first it leveled off and it didn't go much lower it kind of hangs out right now at the 64.15 mark and the 50-day moving average is 68.22 i want every single investor to write that down it keeps jumping around for me but to get it to the t it's 68.22 as long as we're below it we're in bearish territory the moment we're above it we're in bullish territory so every single investor keep that in mind pay close attention to how this is reacting and how quickly is this moving further away from that point or is it on its way back towards it to break through it so write that down now this resistance up here is still significant for the reaction of the stock once it breaks through the 50-day moving average and it starts to work its way up so 70 90 is important now i also want to state to all investors all of you that have been stating oh well there might be a pullback since we did videos way back here and we were watching it go on its way up um, i wanted to go ahead and state i appreciate you guys taking the time and giving such valid uh, information obviously without knowing what's going to happen but you were being in the best interests of other investors you didn't say oh it's going to fall and this is a terrible stock you stated there might be a slight pullback this has been a pretty wild run you know you guys were agreeing with me and i really appreciate that when investors are actually not agreeing with me but seeing what i see so i'm not the only one and then also taking the time to comment because my voice on these videos and these charts isn't the only voice you all have a voice i encourage you guys to comment down below share any news any information that you might know of and i might have overlooked or that you want to share with other investors obviously you're more than welcome to every investor has to do their own due diligence and research based off of what they see but i really appreciate every single investor that took the time to comment and talk about you know the possibility i'm not saying that this was going to drop like a rock into the bottom of the ocean but there was going to be a slight pullback due to the fact that this week is a short week friday is going to reopen for a short period of time so basically the week is almost over and we're going to have tomorrow off and anyone would basically clock out take their profits and the overall market is a little bit unsure of the black friday and the cyber monday reports that need to come out after the weekend and after monday and then we're going to see how next week plays out now i'm just taking a moment to say thank you to you all because i really appreciate that and you know piggybacking off of what i stayed or even sharing your insight and being honest and that's what it all it's all about it's it's about being honest maintaining the integrity of our community and also giving valid information in the best interest of other investors so just wanted to say thank you for that for taking the time to do so and write that down and then also i appreciate everyone's feedback i love it i appreciate it it continues to motivate me so thank you guys and um i don't just do this for the the you know lack of just doing a video and showing you guys the charts if not my best interest for all you guys right i check out for what is in your guys's best interests and also uh, my best interest in making sure that i'm helping you guys that's what that's what it's all about that makes me feel like i'm doing the right thing and it makes me feel like what's in my best interest what's in my best interest is to continue to help more investors as much as i can and also i look out for what's in your guys's best interest by showing you guys the cues and the valid information that comes to my mind if um, i'm talking about something with the news or anything else that i see in the chart so we're currently right now at 64.15 we're below the 50-day moving average i had stated and let's go ahead and see where our support and resistance is so the highest point reach is significant but you're still in bullish uh bearish territory excuse me 67 18. so that's not our main resistance level that needs to just be broken through after getting to this point so we're going to look at this based off of the last couple hours of the day 
the second highest point reached and the lowest point reached in the bearish run. So the bulls to get back into bullish territory, yes, they need to break through the 50 day moving average and get above it. So the first step is breaking through resistance and we're gonna look at that in just a moment. So here we are with our support. Support is 61.63. 61.63 is the support level that we need to pay close attention to and watch how this is reacting how quickly is it moving to newer lows and the further away it moves from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction the more deeper we're getting into bearish territory and breaking through this support means we're getting deeper into bearish territory so what i want to go ahead and emphasize to all investors is pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting if it breaks through 61, 63, how quickly is it moving to newer lows? And how is it behaving? And are the bulls trying to reappear? I want every single investor to be aware of that. Now, the resistance level is 66.39. If that does not get broken through, the bulls are going to have some trouble working their way back up. This needs to be broken through. And I want every single investor to be aware that 66.39. If that gets broken through, it does not mean that the bulls have gained control. It does not mean that they've made it over to bullish territory. That this just confirms that bulls are now getting back up over the 50-day moving average. They still have a way to go from resistance to the 50-day moving average. This is just the beginning indicator and the first catalyst to allow us as investors to be aware of where this is going and that the bulls were able to break through the first resistance level, turn it into a support, and that they're getting closer to the 50-day moving average to get back into bullish territory. So I want every single investor to be aware of that. But the bulls need to break through this and turn that into a support. I hope that with these cues, you guys are well equipped for tomorrow. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Make sure that you click on the bell to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index. And how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened. And I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets on these dates. The charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here. And I break it down into more detail in the video. But just to summarize it, on these dates the S&P 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose like for example this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 3511 and the highest point reached was 3557 that's like a 40 point jump and here we're seeing the same thing it went down to 3588 and it rose up to about i'd say let's see this is all still in the same day it rose up to about a total amount of 36.23 when you do the math that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this now i'm not there to guarantee you profits i'm not there to tell you to buy sell or hold anything in particular i'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses you have to do your due diligence and research but these charts and the dates speak for themselves i mean this was probably one of the largest jumps that i've seen in the last couple of pumps and it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 3388 that was an 80 point jump there was probably ticker symbols rising up more than three dollars 
per share on those dates. And even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than $3 per share. Check it out, see for yourselves. And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index, and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.